What's going on YouTube? Effect Records here. Today we're going to be installing a vacuum control module. Let's do it. Alright guys, so uh, we're going to be working on the vacuum lines today, doing the boost gauge and the blow off valve of my 2008 Mitsubishi Lancer. So I went ahead and got this like a vacuum module type deal here, which basically creates one vacuum going in and it distributes it evenly um, to the stuff that I want to run outside of that. So um, yeah, I'll post a link down in the description below, so be sure to check that out. But this is the one I got. I got red, so it matches a lot of my engine bay, stuff like that. So it came with the vacuum in tube which is what gives you the vacuum from the vacuum source and then you got on the other side the cap so you just plug that up now it came with um, six of these little red nozzle type deals which is right here which goes in these little holes and that's what distributes your vacuum from this to whatever you're running it to so in my case boost uh, boost gauge as well as the blow off valve so that's what I'm doing with these and what's nice about this kit is it comes with plugs now it comes with four plugs, does not come with six because generally when you run this, you'd want at least two vacuum sources and that's why you bought it. So it only comes with four, which will give you two outs and then you can plug up the four. So that's what I'm doing with that. So it does give you like four plugs and then it comes with some mounting hardware as well, which is right here. So for the tools, what you're gonna need, is so I'm gonna need a crescent wrench right here. These are for these um, caps. I'm going to need an Allen key right here out of this set. It's the 5 on mine, so I need that. And then last but not least, at least just to put this together anyway, will be uh, some tape, some Teflon tape. Now you don't need to do that with these plugs because they came with O-rings. So they did come with O-rings. I already put the O-rings on, so they come with those, so that's good. Alright, so with that, we're going to go ahead and get started putting this together. Alright, so you're going to want to take your module here, but I'm just going to go ahead and put it on here for now. I'm not going to tighten it down yet until I actually find out where it's going to go, but I'm just going to go ahead and tighten this down. Just like that on one side, and then the plug on the other. Okay, so now i got both of those down, so it's going to look something like that when it's done. Let's go ahead and take my Teflon. I'll go ahead and rip me off a piece. wrap it around the threads and place that right in here now for this you can either use a crescent wrench like I'm going to use or you can use a deep well socket it doesn't really matter but I'm just going to go ahead and take this since I got it out anyway Okay, just like that. So now I got both of those in there. It's nice and tight. So now I'm gonna wanna do the four plugs. So let's go ahead and grab some more of this Teflon tape. All right, so something like that when it's done. So I got my four plugs and I got my two uh, nipple things and I got my one inlet nipple and I got my plug back there so I didn't tighten these because just in case I got to flip them around and put this over there and stuff like that so um, yeah so that's basically where we're at right now so now we're going to want to uh, figure out our mounting points and how this is actually going to come in line so let's go ahead and move on over to the car to figure out where I'm going to mount this at alright guys so I made some changes to my module here, my vacuum module. What I did was I switched those back. So now um, the inlet side's on this side and the cap's on the other side. I also reversed these two uh, caps and then switched it with the nipples because the place that I found most easiest to uh, mount it to is right here on the fuse box. 
So it's gonna be like right there. And then what that's gonna allow me to do is run my hose from here, back there, and then run the other two lines right there. They're easy to get to. They're not in the way. Um, I can change it later, because all I'm doing is drilling into the plastic to mount the hardware. And it's gonna be basically pretty simple. Let's go ahead and slap this on, just like that. Right, so that seems pretty sturdy. I don't think that's going anywhere. Now I'm going to go ahead and hook up the BOV to one of these nipples because I have all this extra vacuum line, which means I can actually run probably my boost gauge off the rest of this if I don't have enough. And there's my hose right there. All right, so I went ahead and got my cutters, my snips. So I'm going to try to find out where I want to cut it at. Probably like right there. Go ahead and make my cut. All right, just like that. So now I got my BOV hooked up to the module. I'm gonna go on ahead and go zip tie this together just so I make it more secure. All right, so I got the brake booster detached. Now I'm going to go ahead and get a flathead so I can take off these hose clamps so I can put my new metal one in there in place of it and then tighten those down so that'll be done. I can go ahead and slap that back but I'll probably wait actually until I get the hose but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Alright guys, so I managed to pick this up from AutoZone which is... I believe it's a 5 16 This is a fuel hose, but just vacuum coming through, it's not gonna be a big deal. So I wanted to get a tight snug, so that's what I got. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take it and stick it on this nipple here, and then use that T-fitting that I got um, to tee off my brake booster. So that's the plan. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some pressure. So uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this other side and try to go under the place that mounts the bottom bracket of the ECU to that I'm going to go under that and that'll come up like right around here which then I can attach to the brake booster so that's the plan so let's go ahead and wiggle this under Alright, so there I got that side of the T on, so let's go ahead and hook one side of the brake booster, the other side of the other brake booster, and I should be able to be completed, and then we can just cinch everything down and make sure everything's good to go. Alright, I just want to go over real quick what I did um, to get where I'm at and all that fun stuff. So, um, yeah, I have uh, this line, this vacuum line, go into the brake booster. This one obviously goes to the BOV, or the blow-off valve. This one goes to the boost gauge that's inside the vehicle. So it basically comes through here, wraps around behind all that stuff. Go, there's a hole on the other side and it goes in and it goes into the boost gauge. So that's basically the layout that I got. I mounted it to the box. Obviously you can mount it where you want to. If you find a better place, let me know. Um, if not, you're welcome to do it here. It works perfectly fine. I'm shaking it right now. I don't see any wobble except for when the lid moves obviously but it's not like crazy bad and I'm pretty sure it's going to hold so yeah that's how to do that so if you have any questions please let me know if you have any suggestions please let me know and if you like this video please comment rate and subscribe for more videos 